Right, we're ready for our first test. Uh, this is mounted on an engine test stand. So you can see there's a prong coming through there. Uh, one end of the front. Uh, here's the test stand in all its glory. This is this is like a really cheap uh, engine test stand. It's just been slightly modified, but it's actually really pretty good way of testing this. As you can see, the wheel, wheel spins freely and they've got access to all the controls so we're about ready for our first um, bench test in a sort of all up configuration I've got the Kelly controller software attached again and as you I don't know if you can see that I have set the maximum forward speed and the maximum reverse speed to 21 percent of maximum I've also set the battery limit to 21 the lowest allowed is 20 21 percent that the range for the battery limit is not to 100 percent 100 percent of what I'm not quite sure whether that's in amps or what so these are conservative settings for our first test so it doesn't break free from the test stand so here we go so here's Nick assisting me, um, pretending to be Steve Jobs. So what do we do? What order? Right, we turn on the brain of the Kelly controller. Uh, turn on the Arduino. It's tilted back slightly, simulating the normal start position. Uh, we wait for it to be ready. When these two lights are lit, it means uh, it's putting out a signal of 2.5 volts which means that nothing should happen when we uh, turn on the Kelly controller proper. This light's now ready, it shows me it's booted up, it's waiting for me to bring the IMU level at which point the machine will start. So we're going to turn on the main power, nothing should happen, that's good. Right, so watching the wheel, okay. we'll bring it level slowly and the red light should go out. Right, it's now live. So as I tilt it forward, the wheel goes forward. As I tilt it backwards, the wheel goes backwards. Okay, what happens if I tilt it forwards quickly? Hang on. See how it can... It's pretty... I can, if you can get that. Now you see, if I go hard forward, that's the maximum speed of the wheel. But I've set that in the Kelly controller software to 21%. So we'll stop this test now and change that to 50% and see what happens to the wheel speed then. So now I'm going to, using this um, RS-232 converter to USB on my laptop, I'm going to go back into the software and we're going to change the maximum forward speed to 50% and the maximum reverse speed from 21 to 50% and then we're going to hopefully write that to the memory of the Kelly controller right and it says write success uh, that looks like a warning but clearly that's kind of okay whatever it is okay so we'll go back to uh, monitor mode there we are and we'll do another test so we've changed the maximum motor power from 21% to 50% in the Kelly controller here so let's see what happens now so we'll um, turn on the Arduino we're pressing the dead man switch we'll turn on the brain of the Kelly controller we'll just give it a moment to think if you like we'll turn on the main power these two are lit, so the Arduino is putting out two and a half volts. It's control signal, so not a lot should happen when I turn this on. There we go. The second red light is lit, so it's now waiting for me to bring it level. When it goes out, it will become live. There, right, we're live. So tilt the box forward, and the wheel should. Oh, now you see how much more woo vigorous it is. That's twice the speed now. That's a lot more. 
Now that's a pretty big diameter wheel, that equates to a reasonable speed, quite a scary speed actually. <laughs> so my ideal motor speed is probably somewhere between the two, around 30-35% I would guess from my previous experience with the other machine. See how it changes direction? See how the machine jolts around because the wheel's so heavy? There's quite a lot of force here. And we'll release the dead man. And now you see nothing happens. So the dead man works. We turn everything off. Okay.